eight years um, into the disease was when all the light went out. She just really, she enjoyed life, she loved life, she loved her family, and she loved her friends. You don't know that they're going to become violent and agitated and not be able to be in social situations that um, have been comfortable to them for their whole lives. Once in a blue moon, you would have a moment of greatness. Like, um, she would see one of the grandchildren and call them by name, which we were like, wow. Um, but for the most part, this woman who lit up a room turned into an empty shell laying in a bed. Uh, it was my younger brother who said, that disease sucked every bit of life out of her. And as a nurse, I have never seen anything like it. And I have 32 years of nursing experience. This disease just ravages um, a family. And, and um, it starts with the person who has the disease and it permeates through all of the relationships that individual has. The last two weeks of her life, she was surrounded by all of her children and all of her grandchildren. It was the first time in all my years of nursing that I ever felt helpless and hopeless. This is a disease that is going to affect more and more people and the level of incidence is going to be younger and younger and we have to really focus on how we can help the, the individuals who have the disease, the families that are caring for the loved ones. Our mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's when she was 58 years old, and 11 years later, just after her 70th birthday, she lost her battle with the disease.